All right, fire signs, what's up? Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you. Um, yes, the tarot class is available. We have a special pricing for stay-at-home kind of pricing. Um, so if you want to avail yourself of that, it's in the link below. Um, we are <coughs> excuse me, currently teaching the spiritual business class. It's been just amazing. Thank you for everybody who's taking part. Incredible. Um, if you're want, if you've been wanting to take the spiritual business class over the summer, we're going to be offering it as a self-paced option. Uh, and then in the fall, we're going to be, uh, <clears throat> maybe adding some new speakers, something like that. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you. Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's see what's going on for you. We are woo, in this Gemini North node. Moving into the Gemini North Node, which means it's Sagittarius South Node node right now. That's happening. And while Pluto's in retrograde, it is going to be an interesting time of truth. Things are going to be coming to light. So just so you know, put a pin in that, okay? Let's see what's going on for you. The fates. Fated soulmate co-creating with the universe. Woo, that's nice. That's some really nice energy. Wow, milk and honey. Things coming true. This Gemini North Node energy is going to be really good for you. We are having a um, Scorpio full moon happening this week too, May 7th, in which lots of things are going to come to light. This does feel light to me though. Your energy here feels like very comfortable in this in this uh, expression of energy, the um, the full moon energy, and then also the Gemini North Node energy. It just feels normal and natural to you. It's easy for you to co-create. It's easy for you to do what you need. That feels really good. Moving down a beautiful Queen of Pentacles here. I saw her. Four of Wands, Three of Wands. Manifest. Oh, I like that. Check it out. Five of Pentacles. If there's ever a good place to get the Five of Pentacles, it's the first damn card out of the out of the gate. You know why? Because things can change. Ten of Wands. Over ah. <laughs> Put down this old way of doing. Not really thinking, but an old way of doing. So you know how you and you know how you talk about um, don't pay attention to what people say. Pay attention to what people do. Somebody here is working way too hard for nothing. Working way too hard, Ten of Wands, for not a lot of return. And it's like, pick your head up because Ace of Cups wants to come in. New love, new opportunity, new joy, new happiness wants to come in. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, Knight of Wands. Two of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands. That's cool. High Priestess, Eight of Swords. Remember what I just said about your mindset. It's like, in order for you to take an action, for you to do something, it first has to be a thought. And then it has to be a belief. Beliefs are just thoughts that you hear over and over again in your head. Okay? It's just something that you're deciding to be true for you. And intuitively, that's what's going on in, inside. You're, um, you could be stuck in this energy because you're not listening to your intuition enough. You're not trusting it enough. And so you're working way too hard. Way too hard. Um, it can be easy. This can be a lot easier. There is likely a... I see Cancer here, Cancerian energy. I see Sagittarian energy. That can be you. Um, it's almost like this person that you are in contact with is confident in themselves, but they're unclear, unable to communicate very well about their feelings. And so what happens is they end up doing this or they end up looking like this. They end up working too, you know, working, not working too hard. They end up um, being too fast about things. 
I feel like you might uh, appreciate slow, uh, the slow approach. So there is something here about not talking with each other, not really connecting, not really um, being on the same page. Underneath, I feel like you have manifested this for yourself, this very nice um, nine of pentacles, three of, pen three of wands, four of wands experience for yourself. This could be you just in your own life, you know, being super happy. You know, you could be this nine of pentacles and having a hard time communicating your feelings. And so you come off as maybe a player. All right. This other person is working so hard at something that isn't bringing them any result. This is what they talk about when they say wearing a hair shirt. It's like being uncomfortable for no reason at all, except that that's what you believe. That's what this person believes they need to do in order to get love. They need to be the workhorse. They need to be the taskmaster. They need to, um, they're holding on to some kind of mindset, eight of swords here, that is keeping them down, keeping them in poverty, keeping them um, in a job that is just grinding for them. Okay, and I, I do feel like this person has to learn how to co-create. The wheel of fortune is moving through their life. This person has to learn how to pick their head up and be like, you know what, this is a waste of my time. <clears throat> this is a waste of my time and energy. We all know people like this, right? They over-organize things. They over-analyze things. They um, take jobs that are beneath them, beneath their capabilities. It's like they don't believe in themselves. The key here is gaining confidence. And I feel like that... Gaining confidence will allow them to co-create co with the universe, create their life. But right now, you guys are not on the same page. You're not on the same page. And I think you know that, High Priestess. You know it. Um, you could be looking... <coughs> excuse me. You could be looking in a different direction. Like, um... This might not work out. I don't know when this person's going to, you know, release themselves from that prison that they're in. In the meantime, I think you're doing fine. This could be in reverse, right? You could be the one who's in your mental prison here. It's interesting. The mental prison is coming across as five of pentacles and ten of wands. Not mental at all until we get to this eight of swords. Five of pentacles is about feeling out in the cold being left being left behind um not able to make your rent not able to pay your bills not and even though you could be working like a dog even though you could be working so hard and not you're not even seeing that there's an opportunity here you're not even seeing it so if that's the other person, they're not seeing it with you. They're not seeing it. You, on the other hand, are gaining in self-confidence. But I don't feel like you've spoken, right? No, no talkie. I don't feel like you've told them your feelings, really. I feel like you're holding back the feelings. Um, because you might want your freedom, this person feels very heavy energy to me. Okay, um... Very heavy energy indeed. Magician, Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Tower, Four of Pentacles. All right, so this person was, was able to do whatever they wanted at one point in their life. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, they were able to do whatever they wanted. Um... They were starting something new or learning something new, or now they have to learn something new because their life has blown up. They can't do what they were doing, this five of pentacles and ten of wands. They can't do that work anymore. So this is what they've become. They've become this holding back. You might have known this person a long time in the past, right? See how 
the two of wands and three of wands are sort of looking out, right? Looking out to the horizon. You know, this person, the two of wands is definitely looking back to the past. This person could be living in the past. Living in the past, not able to move forward, not really seeing this really good opportunity. I mean, the fates, this is that Sagittarian energy, Jupiter energy, co-creating with the universe, milk and honey. I feel like um, if this is you here, this nine of pentacles, king of cups, knight of wands, you have everything you need, pentacles, cups, and wands, and you have intuitive intuition, good intuition. You're, you know, right there. You may come across as somebody who has a hard time with, um, you know, don't fence me in kind of a thing. This relationship could have done that. And so you being the freedom loving fire signs don't like this, right? Don't fence me in. So this person has their own problems here. This person has their own issues and you feel very confident to me, but the lack of communication is an issue. I love that we're moving into this Gemini North Node. I think that's going to make a big difference here. So if you want to come uh, and check out the rest of this reading, the link is below. Um, otherwise, have a good day, fire signs. We'll see you tomorrow.